So a few worked examples from 1.5. Uh, there's two types of these problems that come up as a little bit more challenging for a lot of us because they involve either fractions or multiple variables or both. Um, so what I want to structure this as is that it's really the same exact same rules that you've applied to the other equations. It just looks a little different. But once you start to see what's going on, it really is the same exact problem, okay? So uh, don't stress out when things look different. Try things out, see how it goes. So we're gonna start with a very simple one. I'll show you what I mean when I say it's exactly the same. Um, and then we'll and then we'll work up in a couple uh, more degrees of, of complexity. So let's say we're solving for L here, okay? I have three variables. This is a formula. It's an area formula. I'm solving for the length, but it doesn't really matter. In general, we can just use algebra to um, isolate a, a single variable to one side of the equation and to express it in terms of the other, and that's helpful. Um, but maybe this is already too intense for you, um, and that's okay. So to break this down, maybe I already know the area and the width, and I want to solve for L. So let's say I'm in some alternative land where the problems are a little bit easier over here, where the area of this thing was 10, and the width I knew was 2. Well, now this, at this point, should be an equation that you know how to solve, right? Something times 2 equals 10. What is that something? Well, we'll, you know, multiply both sides by a half or divide by 2. We should be comfortable with both. Um, and then what are we left with? We're left with, well, the 2 and the 1 half reduce each other to 1. 10 over 2 or 10 times a half. I'm going to write it here. Um, like this before I reduce it one step. And then from here we can simplify, right? 10 over 2 is 5. So it tells us the length must have been 5, which makes sense if we plug this back in. Okay. Now here, this looks like an S, it's a 5. Um, now here, back on the left, this problem runs exactly the same. We just don't get to do that last part or any sort of simplifying necessarily um, unless we have concrete numbers or like terms. So I'll share what I mean. So over here I'm solving for L. We kind of pretend that the area and the width are fixed. And what we do is we isolate L by getting it by itself. So how did we get rid of 2 on the right hand side? We got we multiplied by 1 over 2. Same thing here. How do you get rid of W? Multiply both sides by 1 over W. Right, and then we're left with all well, the W's cancel over here, so left with length equals area or A times 1 over W. And now this last step is what we don't really get to do because these aren't numbers that actually simplify. They're in general. They're placeholders. So what we can do is just simplify this by combining the product of these two fractions to be just A over W equals L. Okay, so now no matter what the area and the width are, I always know what the length will be. So it's not 10 and 2, it's 115, right, or whatever. Um, now I have a general way to solve this problem. That's the, the value add for that. So let's scale up the uh, difficulty a little bit here. Let's say I've got the area of some more complicated shape, and its formula is given by this, and then maybe we divide it by some other thing called S. Okay, now how do I deal with if this if I'm solving for L? Again, let's go to a land where everything but what we know, or everything but we what we want is uh, not solved for. So if the area is, let's say, 100, L is what we're looking for. We know the width is 10, and whatever S is, that's uh, 5. Now, how would we solve this equation? Well, we have to ungroup to get to isolating L, right? Let me put this up here, too, that we're solving for L. So for solving for L, that means we need to strip away everything from L and get it to the other side. However, 
this is inside brackets, so we need to do some work to undo that. Now, what you could do is multiply both sides by uh, five halves, but let's do it one step at a time since we're trying to be uh, cautious here. So to undo this division by five, really this, you know, the top is in brackets, the bottom's in brackets. So to undo that, I'm going to multiply both sides by five over one, all right? So five over one here. And then the fives cancel, so you're left with two times L plus 10 equals 100 times five over one. I'm actually going to keep this unsimplified for now. All right, so we, we'll, we know in our head this is really 500 over here, but we're going to leave it written like this so that we can see what's going on. Um, second thing we need to do in order to solve for that L, I could either divide both sides by 2 at this point, or I could distribute. Um, either one is fine. I like to ungroup first and then deal with things. So got 5 over 1 times 100 equals 2 times L plus 2 times 10, all right, which we know is 20. And then if this were 20, what would I do to get rid of that 20 on the right-hand side? I'd subtract the 20, so I'm going to subtract the 2 times 10 from both sides. So get 5 over 1. I'm just going to write it as 5 now because we're getting a little bit busier. Minus 2 times 10 equals 2 times L. And then I will divide both sides by 2 or multiply both sides by a half. Again, both sides, the whole thing. So that I'm left with L equals and then 1 half times all of this. So 1 half times 5 times 100 minus 2 times 10. Now, what we can do at this point is, you know, calculate all this. We could have been simplifying as we go, but I told you we weren't doing that. So this is 500 minus 20 being multiplied by a half. So that's 480 on the inside times a half is 240 for L. Okay. But what I'm trying to tell you is that at this point, our answer in general will look the same um, in the abstract version of this problem where we have multiple variables. So let's go through and see if you can see the connection between how I solved that one and how we solved this one. So here again, I need to get rid of this S in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by S over 1. So on the left, I'll have A times S equals 2L plus W. Then again, I could either divide by 2 or, or multiply by a half or distribute this through. I'm trying to get L by itself, so I'm unpacking 2L plus 2W equals A times S. Subtract scragglers over, right, to get rid of those pieces. So subtract a 2W from both sides. So AS minus 2W equals 2L. And then to get L by itself, I multiply everything by 1 half. So we're left with L over here. And AS minus 2W, you can think of this as all being over 1 as one quantity and then we do since we're multiplying by half it's the two times one on the bottom becomes two down here and so here we've solved for l so you see how this is really exactly the same this step here is exactly the same as this point right here here's my a times s and my minus two times w and the only thing that we get to do over here is actually calculate what the value is because we knew those values. But over here, now we have the chance to plug in all sorts of different um, quantities for A, S, and W and find out what the length should be in terms of this relationship. Okay, So you're using the same principles of solving equations, 
but just leaving them in general, okay? Not getting to necessarily simplify or evaluate at every step, okay? So I'm actually gonna call that one here and I'll do a separate one for dealing with fractions. Um, but I hope that helps.